welcome to episode 4 of Grammar TV. I'm AC Shrivastava and this is Paula Barrett. The first story today will be presented by Will and Matthew about Terms 1 Summer Sport. Summer sports have been a huge success with loads of participation. Boys basketball had a tough year but finishing off with a thrilling win against Scott. On the other hand, the girls basketball had an amazing season taking the premiership. Girls tennis had a good year finishing third. Boys tennis were really good with young students stepping up to play first as they finished second. The first 11 were agonisingly close to making the state final missing out by one place. Once again the girls softball had a great year finishing up not losing a match and winning the final. Table tennis had a year with mixed results with teams coming third and sixth but had loads of fun. This has been Will Bennett for Grammar TV. Thanks for that boys, it sure has been a successful season. The next story is from Eleanor about password safety. This is Charlie Townsend's account. Around 30% of students aged 12 to 17 share their passwords as a sign of trust or friendship, or in this case, on a bet. The usernames are very easy to find out. They're actually on the computer cases. Most people save their files on Home Drive or OneDrive for security, but this also works against them as you can log on to people's accounts from any computer and access their files. Then there's a new student cafe. The student cafe is set up to have the same username and password. 59% of people reuse the same password across various platforms because they can't be stuffed with a different one. This password's probably been used for lots of things. Once a student D diary is open, you can disrupt their homework, timetable, or find out personal information. And then there's email. Email requires no password if you're on the account. You can read people's emails or you could send some. You could choose a teacher at random, say Mr. Webster, and type something along the lines of, hi, I'm Charlie Townsend and I hate you. Also, I've plagiarized every assignment I've ever written, regards. Then send it and see what would happen. No one would know because it was sent from the other person's account. It would even be in the outgoing mail. As long as you never tell anyone, they can't trace it back to you. Then you can just log out and pretend it never happened. By sharing your password with other people, you're endangering everything on your account, which is an incredibly bad idea. Thanks for that, Eleanor. Our last story will be presented by Jack and myself about the Learning Hub. After looking at lunchtime cricket, we decided to take a step indoors and see what happens at the Learning Hub in lunchtime. So here we've got, on Mondays, we've got Mr Cox for science, um, Tuesday Dr Colson for maths, Mrs Harris for English and history, and um, Mr Chilcott for science on Tuesday as well. And on Wednesday it's competitions, um, that's within the houses. We've got um, chess uh, captains who oversee that and um, are ch in charge of tallying the scores for chess as well. We have. Um, uh, robotics. Um, that, I think it's on a Thursday and Dr Rogers um, takes that um, and that's really that's awesome we love having Dr Rogers up here he, he's got some um, eager clientele for robotics. We've got our new chairs that have replaced our old um, uh, orange chairs that used to be here they're quite comfy um, it's been really good feedback so far so we're really happy with the feedback we've, that we've gained. This has been Palace Barrett and Jack Wickham for Grammar TV. That brings us to the end of another episode of Grammar TV. Thanks for watching and make sure you like and subscribe.